guys. Oh, look at all those pop-ups. Tons of pop-ups. Kazaa, biggest file sharing network there is, period. Yes. Biggest there is. Question for you guys. <clears throat> How many files do you think are being shared on Kazaa right now? Eight. Eight? Uh, yeah. Three terabytes. I have no idea. Three terabytes? How about 900 million files are currently Whoa. being shared on Kazaa? That's, That's a lot, lot of files. That's a lot of files, wow. which is cool Copyright because violations. it gives us a lot of, I mean, we can download all kinds of things, MP3s, movies, you name it. But there's one problem. <laughs> What's that? And that's Kazaa is filled with spyware and adware. Check this out. Take a look at the screen. This is what happened when I left Kazaa for about five minutes. <clears throat> Nothing but pop-ups. Close these out, and we finally get to the application. Now, once you even get to Kazaa, you see there's still ads in here and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's just, it's not a good application if you want to keep your system nice and clean. So step one is to remove the application altogether. We're going to close Kazaa out altogether. Step two is install Kazaa Lite. Now, check this out. Just like Kazaa, no ads, no nothing. Same network. You can do a search here. We can type in one of Pat's favorite bands. Let's say Pennywise. Do a search. Look nice at all and the fast. Yeah. Tons of Pennywise. It's a great application. It's completely free. Kazaa Lite is a hacked version of Kazaa, though, so you're not going to find it at Kazaa.com. But you can download it. I have it in my article at thescreensavers.com. Go there, check it out. And also, if you have any more dark tips, email me, <coughs> Kevin at TechTV.com. Is that, is that, like, legal? I mean, is that... Well, it's some programmers that are out of, uh, out of Sweden, I think, that have hacked it. And actually, I think they've taken some software that actually installs Kazaa, the normal Kazaa that you would yeah. normally download, and then just rips out all the ads out of it and allows you to uh, run it in this yeah, form. Yeah, because not using Nutella or any... It's, it's, a, it's a proprietary network. Right, using, their own right? proprietary network. So, so they're actually using Kazaa's code and interface, to, but just ripping yeah. all, out all the ads and spyware. Because who wants spyware and all those ads? And, on there? and you know the truth stuff. is, if you if you run a service like Kazaa, you can't very well complain that people are stealing from you, right? <laughs> you got out of luck. They will. <laughs> Nobody's going to defend you. All right. Hey, thank you, Kevin. It's cool. Our dark tip of the night.